Summer may be coming to an end, but don't worry, there are a ton, and we mean a ton of new and returning TV shows to keep us preoccupied for the rest of the year. Returning on September 7th comes the latest in the American Crime Story series, Impeachment. The third season of ACS is taking on the Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky scandal with Sarah Paulson, Beanie Feldstein, Clive Owen, character actress Margot Martindale, and Edie Falco, just to name a few, to bring this decades-old scandal back to life and for our viewing pleasure. And since we're on the topic of returns, Hulu's Wu-Tang, an American saga, is back for its second season on September 8th. Netflix's amazing reality competition show Nailed It is also making its comeback in September along with the second season of Apple TV Plus, The Morning Show, and Netflix's Sex Education. But as great as all of these returning series are, let's talk about some of the new shows set to grace the small screen from now until the end of the year. Nine Perfect Strangers made its debut on August 18th, but the Hulu series has gained so much buzz before it even aired. The show is based on the New York Times bestselling book by the same name and stars Nicole Kidman, Melissa McCarthy, Michael Shannon, and Luke Evans. Nine Perfect Strangers is a drama that takes place at a boutique health and wellness resort that promises healing and transformation to help these nine stressed out city dwellers get on a path to a better way of living. However, as the Hulu synopsis puts it, these nine perfect strangers have no idea what's about to hit them. Sounds creepy. And speaking of creepy things, in October, Amazon Prime Video is dropping a series version of the classic and beloved slasher film, I Know What You Did Last Summer, just in time for spooky season. In that same month, ABC is dropping a new show titled Queens about a girl group that gets back together after many, many years apart. Eve, Brandy, Notori Naughton, and Nadine Velasquez are starring in Queens. And honestly, after hearing that star-studded lineup, October 20th can't come soon enough. Don't worry, Star Wars and Marvel fans, we didn't forget about you. In December comes the new a Star Wars series about the legend himself, Boba Fett. The series appropriately titled The Book of Boba Fett also stars Ming-Na Wen, and while there isn't an exact air date just yet, something tells us fans of the Star Wars franchise are keeping their eyes peeled for that release date. As for Marvel fans, two brand new shows in the MCU are coming to Disney Plus later this year, Hawkeye and Miss Marvel. So far we know that Hawkeye starts streaming on November 24th with Jeremy Renner reprising his role as Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, and joining him in this series is Haley Steinfeld, aka Kate Bishop. Miss Marvel, which is set for a late 2021 debut, stars Iman Vellani as Kamala Khan, the series protagonist, and Miss Marvel herself. The series follows Kamala, a 16-year-old Muslim Pakistani American from Jersey City who writes superhero fan fiction, mainly about Captain Marvel, and somehow gains shape-shifting powers. Well, that's good enough to grab our attention. This is just the tip of the iceberg of fall shows to come. If we had to list them all, we'd be here all day. And while these next two shows don't have release dates just yet, we're still just as excited to see them as the others. The highly anticipated spinoff for How I Met Your Mother titled How I Met Your Father was announced by Hulu back in April of 2021. The spinoff has been on and off in the works for quite some time, but now fans can finally rest easy knowing that How I Met Your Father will be coming out in the near future, especially since Hilary Duff, who was attached to the show, shared this fun little cast photo on her Instagram. As for Pretty Little Liars stands, well, the next generation of Little Liars is coming and soon. HBO Max picked up Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, and while there's no premiere date just yet, Deadline reported that the show went into production this summer in New York. But anyway, let everyone know you're booked and busy for the rest of the year because there's a lot of TV that needs watching and you definitely don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching E! News. Have thoughts on the story? Sound off in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep you up to date with the latest in Celeb News Daily.